girls. You excited about this new coupe? You are, right? You really interested in this coupe? You interested in this coupe? Hmm? Yeah, dude. Get on it. Get busy already. Get busy already. Give us any eggs today, girls? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see two eggs in there. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. You're the best. You're the best ladies ever. Great producers you are. All right, guys. Here we are. Day, I think it was day five of the build. The old chicken coop. And we got all of our framing done, I think. I think we're good with the framing. And now it's time to start hanging the T111. And I'm a little unsure of exactly what I'm going to do with the top eaves there, I guess. I guess I'll have to buy another piece of T111 and do the extra places that I'm not going to be able to hang this on. Or do the extra spaces that I'm not going to have T111 for, if that makes any sense. So we'll see how that works out. I'm not exactly sure what this is all going to look like when it's done, but it'll look like something.
Alright dude, what do you think? Day five. Didn't make as much progress as yesterday, but we still made some progress. Noticeable. Yeah, we finished framing as I showed you in an earlier clip. We put up two sheets of the T111. We use this ratchet strap guys because we tried putting it up initially and it was not square. So we use the ratchet strap because it was too hard pushing on the frame to square it up and trying to put nails in this thing. You know, we had to undo what we did. <laughs> had to knock all the nails out of the T111, knock down the one board. And I said, you know what, what can we do? Oh, you know, I got a ratchet strap. Let's see if we can try to ratchet strap it square and then put the T111 on it, keep it nice and rigid. And sure enough, it worked. Yay! It looks like a prison. <laughs> right, there's no door. It looks like you're old school. Um, so what we'll do tomorrow is I got to break the saw out and I'm going to cut these pieces. I think what I'm going to do is just cut right to this first, you know, six foot wall and then do a second piece up there. I think that's what we're going to do. I got to cut the door out yet. And I think the goal is to get it all T111 and I'm going to be picking up my my roof. I ordered the, the roofing material yesterday. It was $55, guys. That was cheap. You know, Lowe's wants like 30 bucks a sheet and I'm getting, and yeah, yeah, they want like 30 bucks a sheet. And so it would have been like $90. Hey, actually that's for two footers. And these are three footers that I'm getting. They're custom made uh, three by 10 and a half. And so I'm going to be able to have that roof covered, a little bit of overhang on each side and we'll be in good shape, I hope. And then it's a matter of painting and trim pieces and yada yada, putting the doors, doors on and anyway. So this is going to be where we put our little hen door here, a little chick door. Yeah, looks like I'm, I could probably squeeze that in. I'm going to take just a hair off of that. We'll put our little hen door right in here. And I'm going to just put little cleats right up against this two by and up against there so the door can slide up and down. At least that's the thought anyway. idiot. I'm a damn idiot. That's why I'm glad I did it on this side and I'll have to hide that with a piece of trim board. I only went to the top of that board instead of the top of the or to the bottom of the 2x4 instead of the top of the 2x4. What in the hell was I thinking? What a doofus. Holy moly. St time to start painting this thing. Look at that color. Yikes. It looks like 
Pepto Pink. Anyway, the swatch, it looks much darker after it dries. It's actually called like Barn Fire Red or whatever. So I'm pretty hopeful that it's going to turn out better than that look when it dries. So we're going to get OGK set up on this. We're already mixed. Back to painting. I thought I'd be done with this. Oh, man, it's like a purple. Look at this color, dude. Yikes. Yeah. Rise better. Could have done that, but here's the deal. I wasn't sure what was going to go where, and I wasn't sure what we were going to cut out. So I just figured, you know, after it's up, we'll dig it. And that end is what I used to get in the nooks and crannies of the cement. Rub it up against there and... Yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I kind of want to go maybe a little bit there. Well, you know what it looks like. Yeah. Did it look like this? I don't know. Here. But don't let your mother see this color yet. Yeah. It looks like it's going to... Not dry too much different. It's gonna dry dark in here, Yeah. But not too much Well dude, this looks nothing like the barn stuff that we saw in the swatch. Yeah. So, so I, I'm guessing it's gonna dry quite a bit different. Right, I'm gonna head down the lows, okay? Okay. Do a good job. Okay. You just want me to do this backside, right? Um Well the whole thing's gotta get done, so. Do the back side, uh, let it dry for a little bit, okay. and then if it if it looks good, and we're going to keep it, keep going. Okay. Yeah, I can already see it's drying over here, and it's drying a little darker. It's going to dry quite a bit darker. Well, gang, I ain't going to lie. I do not like this color at all. It's like a magenta or a fuchsia. I know BC Truck really likes this color. He talks about it constantly, both online and offline, which is... Frankly, it's a little odd, but that aside, it looks nothing, and I mean nothing, like the swatch, like the color paint chip. Nothing. I mean, it even had like barn red in the color, or in the title of the color. And this is magenta, fuchsia, uglia, purpola, yucky alava. Yeah, not happy with it. Well, it looks like barney purple right there, and I'm not happy about it. There's the door that I made. I'm gonna have to trim it a little bit, I think. Yeah, I am. But I'm gonna put hardware cloth over it and a handle on it and some hinges on it. Watch out. <laughs> 